Hi, today we'll see how to migrate a script from Airplane to Windmill. This script uses an external resource and is scheduled. As you can see, the script executes every minute and sends a message to Discord. It also uses a config variable called Discord Webhook containing a webhook sending a message to a Discord channel. Okay, here is the code in Airplane. Let's just create a new script in TypeScript Dino and paste that code to adapt it to Windmill. Okay, so let's go one by one. For the import, you, you don't need to install Windmill, do it directly for you. So you can do your import and pick npm in the import line. For the slug, you can do it directly in the settings and give it a custom summary. So here, send the Discord message. Perfect, we can delete this. Okay, the parameters are done directly as arguments of the main function. As you can see, we call the input text a string that is now present on the auto-generated UI on the right of the screen. Okay, for the config variable, we create a new resource. Resource are just rich objects in JSON. There is already a resource type called uh, Discord Webhook, but you can create your own. So in the dis webhook URL, we'll just paste the URL we had also in Airplane. Okay, and now if we want to use this URL, we can pick a variable that was automatically created from our resource directly in the script using the plus variable button. Okay, now let's paste the rest of the code and kill the Airplane function. Okay, so to call the webhook, instead of process.env, we'll do the get variable windmill function that, that was automatically added to the import lines. And for the message, we can do it directly from the main function argument. And you can see, we can test it directly from Windmill UI, and it worked. Okay, there is another trick. If we want to pick the Discord resource directly from the auto-generated UI, we can type Discord Webhook directly in the script and use it as our main function argument. And now the webhook URL will take discard that webhook URL which is the argument of the URL we gave. And as you can see, we can pick this resource from the auto-generated UI. This is useful if you want to use the same script both but for different uh, tokens or uh, connection strings. Okay, we could deploy the script and now everybody can use that with the right permissions. Okay, so what if now you want to do that from VS Code? So we'll use WimmyFly to pull our whole workspace into a repository. And now from VS Code, we can open the whole directory and search for our script. See, it is right in VS Code. There is also a windmill extension within VS Code that allows us to have the auto-generated UI and also our resources right from VS Code. We can test from there. And see that it worked. But you can also modify the script save it and push it to your workspace. Let's add just a random line to the script. We saved it. And then with the windmill sync push row command, we'll push it to our workspace. Okay, let's check our windmill workspace from the windmill UI. And see that the line was indeed added. Okay, great. Now let's see how to schedule the script. So there is a custom menu called schedules in Windmill. We'll create a new schedule. Give it a summary if you want to. We can use a, a simplified Chrome builder 
and let's set it to one minute as in airplane. And we can pick our script and see that the auto-generated UI was added. We can pick our resource and the input text we want to add for the script. Okay, the schedule is on. And now let's check what happens in Discord. And okay, it worked with the input we gave. It's also super easy to disable it. And from the schedule page, you can see the logs that was executed.